Greetings, amazing boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime with Avon Books. I'm Sheree Hardy, and I hope that you are well. Tonight, I'm going to be reading Allison's Trumpet. This book was written by Nat Hintoff, and if you have a copy, you can read along with me, but if you don't, it's quite okay. Just make sure you're in a very comfortable place and you're relaxed so you can listen to Allison's Trumpet. Allison was switching stations on the radio one evening when she stopped and shouted with pleasure. It was a horn, a trumpet, soaring through the air right at her. Its bright, crisp notes were singing, actually singing, a melody. But the melody kept taking on different shapes and colors, as if the horn were playing with the music. She felt so good, she shouted again. What's the matter? Allison's mother rushed into her room. Where does it hurt? Oh, it doesn't hurt. Just the opposite. Listen. Listen to the music. Sounds like jazz to me, her mother said. I never could make hails or tails out of it. Heads or tails out of it. Allison's father came into the room. He listened and pointed to the radio. That's Dizzy Gillespie, he said. Greatest jazz trumpet player in the world, whole entire galaxy. Dad, Allison was jumping up and down. I've got to have a trumpet. I've got to. You have a flute, her mother said. You're studying the flute. That's just right for a girl. Who ever heard of a girl taking up the trumpet? I'm afraid your mother's right, Allison's father said. Trumpets aren't made for girls or women. It takes a lot of strength to get a sound out of that horn. In the whole history of jazz, there have been no great women trumpet players. A few, a very few women have broken in, but hardly anyone remembers their names. Stick to playing the flute, honey. But the flute doesn't explode in the air like firecrackers, Allison said. The flute is like an instrument that wears dresses all the time, and you know I'm not that kind of girl. Allison was, however, a most persistent kind of girl. She kept asking, demanding, holding her breath for a trumpet, and she got one. Her teacher, an elderly man who used to be in the local orchestra, told Allison, I can't teach you jazz, but you will never be able to play jazz or anything else until you know how to play the trumpet. And that I can teach you. Even if I'm a girl, Allison asked, what has that got to do with it? He said, if you want to learn, you'll learn. It's really just as simple as that. Allison learned to play the trumpet, and two years later, she applied to join the school jazz band. The director of the band, a large, gloomy man in his 40s, looked at her and said, too young. Is that written down? Allison asked. That 13 is too young to try out? Another trumpet paired player, tall and lean, was standing behind Allison. Nobody ever said anything about age, he said to the director. As long as you can play. The band director glared at him. Girls can't play the trumpet. Where is that? The tall trumpet player asked. In the Bible? In the Constitution? I must have missed it. Yeah, said Allison. How can you say that un until you've heard me? Okay, said the band director in a tone that it wasn't okay at all. There's a rehearsal at two o'clock. You and you, he pointed to Allison and her new ally, will both sit in. As they walked away, the young man held out his hand. Ben Stovall, he said. Allison smiled. I'm Allison. I wish I knew what was going to happen in that tryout, she said. He'll ask you to do two things, Ben told her. First, You'll read through the music. Then he's going to ask you to improvise, to get up and take a solo based on part of the music you've just read. Can you do that? Yeah, for a couple of years now, I've been putting on the radio and improvising right along with the music, Allison said. I've even improvised along with Dizzy Gillespie. Not in person, I mean. You are really serious, aren't you, Ben said. I'm going to be a jazz musician, Allison said. 
I've been doing a lot of research lately. I bet you didn't know that there was once a great woman trumpet player. Ben laughed. Belayda Snow. And she had her own band, Allison said. She toured Europe and the Far East. She had a thick tone. And man, she knew how to swing, Ben said. Yeah, said Allison. I've heard the records. I bet when she was young, all kinds of people told her that trumpet players weren't made for girls. That afternoon at the rehearsal, Ben Stovall went first. He sailed through the reading part and he improvised solos. And his improvised solos were so fresh and lyrical that the players in the band applauded. Even the band director tried to smile, but the effort was too much for him. Nice work, said one of the trumpet players to Ben. Allison, who had been warming up in the dressing room, sat down in the trumpet section to take her turn. The band director called for an arrangement of Duke Ellington's Take the A-Train, rolling, a rolling joyous piece. Playing with the section, Allison's reading was perfect. Then the band director signaled her to take a solo. Remember, the latest snow been whispered to her as she stood up. Allison, remembering the first shock of jazz pleasure she had heard on the radio, felt as if she were soaring over the band, finding sounds of celebration she had never played before. Looking down, she saw Ben Stovall nodding and smiling. Huh, said the trumpet player next to Ben. She must have memorized that. No girl could make up a solo like that. I'll tell you what, said Ben. You find the record that has that solo and I will give you $100, okay? The other trumpet player didn't answer. He just shook his head, fighting the knowledge that Ben was right. The solo had been Allison's and no one else's. The band director came over to Allison and Ben. Rehearsal at noon on Sunday. We're in, Allison asked. I said Saturday at noon, the band director walked off. Someday, said Allison. I'm going to come back here with my own band and ask that old walrus to sit in. He might surprise you, Ben smiled, like you surprised him today. You never know, you never know what's going to happen in this in music and whom it's going to happen to. And that's what makes jazz so much fun. Yeah, said Allison. And it's all just beginning for us. The end. So, boys and girls, that was Allison's Trumpet by Matt Hintoff. And here's a little bit more of the one and only Dizzy Gillespie. Thank you for listening, boys and girls, and have a wonderful day. Take care.